Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we're going to explain how to add a domain to a Microsoft 365 account, formerly Office 365, and how to change the default from one domain to another. And there's two ways to do it. One is to set it per user, which is a bit of a pain. The other is to set it globally. So all new people that are added, it's change to whatever new domain you want. So let's show you that. So first thing you do is just go to portal.office.com and you have to set up your domain. Now, we're gonna assume you've already bought your domain. Click on admin. If you don't see admin in the list, click the nine dot, the top left-hand corner and click admin there. Now, once you're in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, formerly Office 365, the easiest thing to do, best thing to do is just click show all to expand all of your options. And to set up a new domain, you simply expand the settings section, click on domains. This will give you a list of domains, including telling you which one is the default, which is this top one. Now, how would you go about adding a domain? Not very challenging. Click the add button if you do need to add one in case it's not already there. Type in the name of your domain and then there's a little wizard you go through that has you add some records to your DNS, things that prove that you own the domain firstly, and secondly, things like an MX record or a mail exchanger record. And you just run through the wizard. It's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, just click this little video on the right hand side. We're going to assume that you've already done that. So let's go back a step. And now what we need to do is uh, set up some users. So let's go to users, active users, and I'm going to click add user and I'm going to set up my buddy Malkeet. Malkeet. And you can see it defaults to votelila.com. Well, I could change it here, but I actually want to show you how to change it after an account has already been created. So I'm just going to leave it at what you see here and then we'll change it. It's in Canada. I'm going to give this person full licenses, uh, all of the license, uh, full license. And he also wants to be an admin. So let's go through here and next. And you can see now he's set up, ready to go with Malkeet at votelila.com. We don't want votelila.com. We're not using that domain anymore. So how do you change it? Well, it's not very hard. What we have to do is wait for the user to be built, click close, and then click on the user. And under Malkeet at votelila.com on the account tab, click manage username. Click on that. And this is where you can change the domain on the fly. So if you have one user that wants to use csucp.com, do that, click save. And another user wants to use lilahere.com, you can do that. But in this case, they want to use ahere.com. So I'm clicking on that, clicking save changes. Now let's show you how to change it by default so that everybody that has a new account created from here on gets the new ahere.ca domain and doesn't use the old domains by default. Click the hamburger in the top left-hand corner of the admin center then go down to domains well it's under settings if you don't see it and go into domains select a here.ca just put a check mark beside it and click set as default and this tells you this will replace your current default domain votelila.com and this is the key part when you add new users their email addresses and usernames will use this domain if a user has multiple email addresses the default domain will be used as the reply address. Set as default and boom. Now there, here.c is showing up at the top and let's go back to the hamburger and add another user. Let's click users, active users, and we're going to add Leela. So let's go in here. Leela, by the way, this is not case sensitive. Uh, Leela does want licenses, but does not want to be an administrator. So we're gonna click next and finish. And I know I don't want to make this a template, click close. And now you see that Leela, brand new user, defaulted to a, a, a here.ca. Now, if I went into, let's just pick on Malkeet because why not, he's fun to pick on. And let's explain that reply to thing because it can be confusing. So if I, under the account tab, if I select manage username and email, and let's say he wanted to be sales at ahere.ca. And I click add. He will be sales at ahere.ca for inbound mail. But for outbound mail, specifically replies, 
it's going to go out as malkeet at ahir.ca. So if anybody sends an email to that address, or this address, or this address, or this address, Malkit will get it at this email address. However, the problem is when he clicks reply, it's not going to send as, let's say you sent it to sales at ahir.ca, it's gonna, he's gonna send out as Malkit at ahir.ca, which isn't a big problem, but you need to be aware of it. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe's also appreciated. They both really help with the Google algorithms. Also, if you want to get a hold of us, you can do so at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you could leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because it's YouTube and everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.